good evening today we will discuss about uh, the topic heterotropic nutrition in plants myself mrs krishna ganguly from online tutor i have already discussed about autotropic nutrition in plants autotropic means i have said you that autotropic means when plants are making their own food that is autotropic in plants also there are some such plants which are uh, unable to make their food those plants are having heterotropic nutrition those plants are having heterotropic nutrition so today we will discuss heterotropic nutrition in plants some plants do not have chlorophyll plants which are having chlorophyll they actually can make their food but some plants do not have chlorophyll they cannot synthesize food they cannot synthesize food because as you know as i have discussed earlier that chlorophyll is a green pigment that trap the sun energy which is very much necessary for photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which plants can make their food so without chlorophyll photosynthesis cannot be happened so some plants do not have chlorophyll and also they can't synthesize food because they can't have photosynthesis such plants depend on food produced by other plants such plants depends on the food produced by other plants it is very necessary because they can't make their food so what do you, they do they depend on those plants which can make their foods which are uh, which can do photosynthesis which can synthesize their food they depend on those plants okay so this mode of nutrition is known as heterotropic nutrition in plants that means plants which do not have chlorophyll which cannot synthesize food they actually depend on other plants for food those plants on those plants which can make their food this type of nutrition is called heterotropic nutrition okay this type of nutrition is called heterotropic nutrition you have already learned about autotropic nutrition today it is turn for heterotropic nutrition in your 7th uh, class book you are having heterotropic nutrition in four parts that is parasite insectivorous saprotrophs and symbiosis there are four types of heterotropic nutrition in plants parasite insectivorous saprotrophs and symbiosis today we will discuss this two types parasitic modes of nutrition and insectivorous modes of nutrition okay now first of all you have to know what is parasite in some cases you often notice that yellow wiry branched structure twining around the stem and branches of other tree when in your surrounding environment you often notice that some yellow wiry branch structure is there which which is twining around the branches and stems of the other tree it is yellow wiry wiry means wire like structures and branched structure it is twining around it means it is around the other tree it is twining around the stem and branches of the other tree this plant is called cascuta this plant's name is cascuta and another name is amarbel another name is amarbel one name is cascuta another is amarbel this plant which plant you often notice that there is a plant which is which is yellow and wiry structure branch structure which is twining around the other 
plants star, stems and branches so this plant is called cascuta the name of this plant is cascuta it is not the main plant it is twining around the stem and branches of the main plant it does not have chlorophyll obviously when we are talking about heterotropic nutrition then obviously it does not have chlorophyll it takes ready made food from the plant on which it is climbing it takes food from the plant on which it is climbing i have told that it is twining around the other plants stem and branches so it is actually taking food from that other plant on which it is twining around or it is climbing the plant on which it climbs is called the host the plant on which it is climbing is known as the host host means on host the parasite takes their food necessary growing material from the host so as the plant is twining around that other plant and having their food from the other plant that is why that plant other plant on which it is climbing on is known as host and cascuta since it deprives the host of valuable nutrients it is taking the valuable nutrients from the host plant as it is depriving the host plant it is known as parasite it is known as parasite so what is parasitic mode of nutrition in plants example of parasitic mode of nutrition is cascuta it is yellow wiry branch structure which is twining around the other plant and it is taking its all nutrients from that other plant which is known as host it is taking all the nutrients from the host that is why cascuta is known as parasite okay so first type parasite we have discussed in heterotrophic nutrition in plants second type is insectivorous insect vorous insect means insect you know what is insect vorous vorous means it is taking nutrition from insect that is it is fed upon insects so the second type is insectivorous now i am explaining with an example there are few plants which can trap insects and digest them in our environment there are few plants which can trap insects and also digest them this is the structure actually you can see the structure and it is a leaf modified into pitcher like structure it is a pitcher like structure the leaf of the plant is modified into pitcher like structure such plants may be green or of some other color such plants can be green or some of some other color the pitcher like or jug like structure is the modified part of leaf the leaf of that plant is modified into a pitcher like structure pitcher means jug like structure and it is having a lid also lid what is lid the uh, portion by which it can be covered so the pitcher or jug like leaf has one lid like structure lid okay so this pitcher like structure is nothing but the modified leaf the apex of the leaf forms a lid as i told that the apex the uh, uppermost portion of the leaf is modified a lid forms a lid which can open and close the mouth of the pitcher the jug it is having a lid it is actually the apex of the leaf which is modified for modified into lid okay and the lid is actually 
can open and close the mouth of the pitcher. So what happened? In that plant the leaf is modified into a pitcher and the apex of the leaf is having a lead and the lead helps to open or close the mouth of the pitcher. Inside the pitcher there are hair which entangle and trap the insect. When an insect is sitting on that pitcher, inside the pitcher there are hair like structure which actually entangled, entangled the insects and trapped the insect. As soon as it trapped the insects, the lead closes and the insect is trapped. It is a very uh, miraculous thing created by God actually that the leaf of the plant is behaving like an animal. It is having a lead when insect sits on that lead or on that leaf the hair like structures inside the pitcher entangled and trapped the insect and the lead closes as soon as the insect comes inside the lead closes and the insect is trapped the insect is killed by the juices secreted in the pitcher and its nutrients are absorbed the insects insect is killed by the juices as soon as the insect is inside the pitcher and it is entangled by the hairs and trapped by that some juices are secreted in the pitcher to kill the insect and also it takes the nutrition and it absorbs all the nutrition from that insects. So it is fed upon the insect. As it is fed upon the insect, it is known as insectivorous. It is known as insectivorous and it depends upon that insects its whole nutrients portion depends upon that insects as it can't make their own food its own food it is obviously a heterotropic mode of nutrition and it is very weird that God has created such leaf which is actually behaving like an animal and it is trapping the insect it kills the insects and it also ta is taking all the nutrition it is absorbing all the nutrition from that insect such insect eating plants are called insectivorous such insect eating plants are called insectivorous so today we have learned two types of heterotropic nutrition first one is parasitic mode of nutrition the example is cascuta and second one is insectivorous the plant's name is peacher plant the plant's name is peacher plant so the example of insectivorous plant is pitcher plant and the example of parasite is parasitic mode of nutrition in plant is cascuta. So today we have discussed two heterotropic nutrition, two types of heterotropic nutrition. One is parasite, another is insectivorous. In our next session we will discuss saprotrophs and symbiosis and then we will end the heterotropic nutrition in plants. Okay, thank you and let's wait for the next session.